Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben, the master taster. And today we have a Kubakan again on our cask. There's a lot of new Kubakans from the Tomatin distillery out on the market. Mm -hmm. And today we're tasting the uh, bourbon, no, it's called um, signature. signature. And it consists out of whiskies from bourbon and Oloroso sherry cask and North American virgin oak cask. So fresh American uh, white oak cask, which should deliver a little bit of you're haptically on it, huh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so American uh, uh, virgin oak cask influence as well. The Kubokan is from the Tomatin distillery, is a little bit smoky, has a smoky touch in it. And the Tomatin distillery built that new brand several years ago. So the Kubokan is named after the ghost hound, which if you translate it from Gaelic, uh, the ghost hound, which was in the mosses close to the distillery and uh, uh, howling overnight. And uh, so between the shades of the mist in the moss, uh, the ghost hound was going around. And so here we have this, uh, <clears throat> this bottle, uh, the smoke should uh, bring your uh, association to the mosses mm -hmm. yes yeah <laughs> unlock the unusual that's the the slogan on the bottle so um what i like about these kubokan is that they have so much cask variation that's really fun we had the three and the four in the mm -hmm. uh experimental or something edition or something like that and it was it was really nice to have these different kind of casks how they influence it and yeah, let's have let's have this one. But this one is a standard product, right? Yes, I think so. I think so uh, as well. It, it's not only uh, some casts uh, together in a uh, bottling, but uh, I think this bottle is here to last longer and is priced below forty. Mm -hmm. So it's affordable. It's forty six percent ABV. I think it's unchill filtered, uncolored. Mm -hmm. So everything as it should be and not too smoky on the nose no mm -hmm. yeah they always say lightly smoked with the kubokan and i think lightly smoked is uh mm. like this okay <laughs> <laughs> well, i'm not quite sure because in the back the label is is not quite in the center now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the the likely ones are much more popular because people tend to like smoke, but not that strong. Yeah. Smoke brings complexity. Yeah. Mm. So there is smoke in it, definitely, and a citrus note as a dominant mm -hmm. taste. Mm. And more smoke, <laughs> yeah. But if I had to to give a figure for the smoke. Mm. I would say 15 to 20 ppm so it's not too strong lightly mm. smoked. yeah it's a lightly smoked i would say 20 is already medium i would say about 10 but it's subjective mm -hmm. and it's beautiful because it ha does have that smoke combined with the freshness of that citrus note and also a little bit sweetness with uh, these virgin oak notes coming through vanilla caramel but still very complex with light smoke, then the sweetness, a little bit of a spiciness going on as well. It's it's beautiful. I like it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Sweet and juicy mm. in the start. <laughs> Sweet and juicy. And then a uh, little bit more of those these exotic spices and there is some fruitiness darker fruitiness from the sherry cask but the distillery character with the citrus is from my point of view a little bit stronger than those sherry cask influences and the smoke is not too strong in the aftertaste there's a little smoke on the tongue so mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's complex. It's complex. It's very uh, different from the different casks and from the smoke in it. So even it does not show any age on it, uh, but it's already complex due to the ingredients and all the features the whiskey has. Mm. Beautiful. Just a beautiful, complex Scotch whiskey. I would have expected a little bit less smokiness. Mm. It has a bit more subtle smoke in it and it just blends in very well with all the mm, all the other flavors and it's just a so, such a wholesome mix there is a bit of a smokiness there's a sweetness there is spiciness there's oakiness there's there's a little bit of everything in there and i like it very complex whiskey mm -hmm. mm. yeah for the price very well yeah. done what what it doesn't have is that um that yeah big maturity i would say it is a a, a well matured whiskey there is no metallic youth in it or edgy taste to it but it, it's it's not a very it's not an old whiskey you yeah. can you can feel that but it the comes from the differences yeah. in casks and the complexity comes from the differences in cast so it's a bit a good example for what a whiskey can be uh, how complex a whiskey can be even though it's not that old yeah. if you want a complex whiskey you even have to go old or you have to go with different casks this is with different casks and different and a little bit of smoke a little bit of smoke that yeah. doesn't hurt any any at all <laughs> okay so yeah that was it thank you very much for this for watching and see you next time mm -hmm.